Hello everyone, in this video I want to show you how you can run a latent class analysis with covariates in the M plus software. Before I begin, a few words about this channel. On this channel I present weekly statistics tutorials usually related to multivariate statistical methods with latent variables and often involving the M plus software. If this is something that interests you, then please subscribe to my channel and also if you like this video then please hit the like button and leave a comment in the comment section in case you have any comments or ideas for other videos. So in this video I want to show you how you can use the M plus program to run a latent class analysis with covariates. And so here you can see a path diagram of a latent class model. In this case I am extracting latent classes from uh, binary items that refer to individual's preference for different types of computer games. And so my latent class variable C here is a categorical variable that indicates to so say the type of computer game preference or the type of player that somebody might belong to. And so now it could be of interest after extracting, for example, different types of computer game players to see if those latent classes or these preferences are related to external variables such as for example gender. Are there gender differences for example in computer game preference and if so how is gender related to computer game um, preference and also there might be age differences in the class assignment and so we might also be interested in predicting the latent class variable by age to see if there are any age differences between the classes. And so here I want to show you how you can very conveniently analyze a latent class model with covariates in the M plus software. And I want to show you the input file for that. So let's go to M plus. And so here I have an example of a three class latent uh, class analysis with the covariates age and gender. In case you're not familiar with M plus or with how a uh, latent class analysis in general works in this program, please check out my other video on latent class analysis in M plus in which I show an unconditional latent class model without covariates and where I discuss all the commands in detail for a latent class analysis in M plus. You find this video in the description. And so here I'm just only going to focus on the relevant commands for adding those covariates. You can see that in my variable list I have those computer game items listed here at the end and then I also have the covariates age and gender at the beginning. Since I'm using all the variables in my names list I can omit the use variable statement in M plus but what I have to do is I have to indicate that my items are binary and so I'm doing this by listing them under the categorical statement which means that M plus will run a classical latent class analysis for binary and <clears throat> or ordinal data. In the classes subcommand here, we specify the name of the latent class variable. So I chose the name C here and then also the number of classes. In this case, I determined that a three class model was the best model based on previous analyses and looking at fit statistics and so on. So in a first step, you would typically want to run unconditional latent class models without covariates to determine the number of classes that make the most sense for you. And then once you have figured out how many classes you need, then in the next step, you would add the covariates. That's how we typically do it, unless we have a reason to focus on a specific latent class model. If, for example, our theory already predicts that we have three classes, then we could also potentially skip the step where we run different numbers of classes. And so then we have our analysis type equals mixture. I have a setting for starting values here that allows me to try out different sets of random start values to avoid local maxima, which are often a problem with mixture models or latent class models in general. And so running many uh, sets of starting values is recommended so that you can avoid local maxima. This is not specific to analyses with covariates. That would also be the case for unconditional analyses. And then you can see that here I have a model statement with an overall subcommand and then the statement C on H gender. And this is something that is 
different for an analysis with covariates when you run an unconditional latent class analysis in M+. You don't need a model statement at all unless you're putting specific constraints on parameters of your latent class model. So, but if you don't do that, then you can com completely omit the model statement for an unconditional class analysis. But when you have covariates, then you need this model statement so that you can tell M+, plus which variables are related in which way. So in this case, the class variable C is regressed on age and gender. Those are the covariates. So we're predicting class membership by age and gender. And so the statement means C, the latent class variable, is regressed on age and gender. M plus will perform a logistic regression analysis in this case, specifically a multinomial logistic regression because we have three classes, so the latent class variable has three different levels. And so M plus automatically knows since this is a latent class variable, it must be categorical and the type of regression to be used is a logistic regression in this case. M plus will then give you the results for the logistic regression model using the last class as reference class in the logistic regression. Now, the last class obviously is arbitrary and it only depends on the starting values that you use. And so therefore, M plus will also give you the results for all alternative classes as reference, at least in the newer versions of M plus, to make it convenient for you in case the reference class that happens to be, or the last class that happens to be the reference class by chance is not the one that you want. So I will discuss this in a separate video when I will talk about the output of a latent class analysis with covariates. But just so that you know, for this regression model, you get all the results that you need in the output, including odds ratios and so on. You can also request a plot in the same way as you would do this for an unconditional latent class model to take a look at the class profiles. And that's often useful because sometimes when we add covariates, the latent class structure might change compared to an unconditional structure because maybe the covariates are differentially related to the indicators. They may be more strongly related to some of the indicators and that can cause the whole class structure, the class profiles to be different after you add the covariates, which is not necessarily a bad thing, but it's a thing that you would want to know about. So you can sort of say, assume that your latent class profiles will stay exactly the same when you add your covariates. That's something that you should check, that you should look into. And one way to do this is by looking at the profile plot that M plus will provide by using this option type equals plot three. Also, you want to take a look at the TEC10 output typically. The TEC10 output is very useful because it adds a lot of additional fit information above and beyond global fit statistics in latent class analysis. It, it, it gives you univariate um, model fit information and bivariate model fit information. You can take a look at the response patterns, the model response pattern frequencies, and compare the model implied response pattern frequencies with the uh, observed response pattern frequencies to see if there's any pattern that is over or under expected by the latent class model. So it's always useful to take a look at that. So that's what an input file looks like for a latent class an analysis with covariates where we predict the latent class variable in a logistic regression analysis. It's pretty straightforward. In a, another video, I will show you what the output looks like for a model like this. In the meantime, please don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to this channel, and I'll see you next time.